You're just chilling, thumbing through your phone, and bam, you see it, Xiaomi Cyber One. Cyber One is a humanoid robot that measures 177 centimeters in height and weighs 52 kilograms. It can identify 45 different human emotions and 85 kinds of environmental sounds. It has a head that combines a curved OLED display module, a full-range audio driver, and some sensors. The neck has a depth-sensing visual module and an AI interaction camera, which allows for 3D reconstruction. Cyber One has 13 joints and 21 degrees of freedom, which helps it keep its posture and balance while walking on two legs. It has five different types of joint actuators that can reach a peak torque density of 96 newton meters per kilogram and can provide 300 newton meters of power. The upper limbs help with teaching through demonstration, using gravity and friction compensation, along with a collision detection threshold of one newton meter. The lower limbs have this cool, rigid, flexible coupling bionic structure, which lets it walk on two legs at a speed of up to 3.6 kilometers per hour. A robot with a humanoid form, not some clumsy, boxy object either. This is sleek, almost humanoid. It's kind of weird, right? My first thought was, is this real? And yeah, it is, which is wild. So let's first discuss appearances because let's be honest, that's the first thing we all notice. It has a futuristic quality, really. Clean lines, smooth surfaces. It doesn't look like it was built in someone's garage, though who knows? Maybe it was. The limbs move rather fluidly too. Not perfectly, but certainly more naturally than you'd expect. It's not stiff and robotic, if you know what I mean. This makes it even more interesting. And then there's the face. Oh boy, the face. Digital, with these large, expressive eyes. They blink, glance around, and try to exhibit feelings. Okay, so it's not totally convincing. Right now, it definitely falls in that uncanny valley. It's almost human, but not quite. It gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But you can see what they're aiming at. You can see that the, these are, can you see the potential? They seem to be trying to give it a personality, or at least a digital approximation of one. Now the brains of the operation, this is where it gets really cool. Cyber One is loaded with some pretty advanced artificial intelligence. We're talking algorithms for everything, including movement, object recognition, even some natural language processing. Its 360-degree view comes from cameras, LiDAR, and all kinds of sensors. It can see, sense depth, and even create a map of its surroundings. It seems like it has eyes everywhere. A little eerie, but also quite remarkable. And the way it moves, it's not just walking, it can balance itself, even if you try to push it over. They've actually shown it being nudged, and it just corrects itself. That's not straightforward, that requires some serious engineering and some serious control systems. All those gyroscopes and sensors are cooperating flawlessly. It almost resembles watching a human. Naturally, though, it's not perfect. Sometimes the motions seem a bit jerky. The facial expressions are still somewhat off, and it's not precisely going to engage you in a deep philosophical debate. Yet. But it's a start. A great start. What then does it all mean? That's the big question, right? I consider it a glimpse of the future, one in which robots increasingly permeate our lives. Perhaps they'll assist doctors in hospitals, help us with housework, or even investigate places we can't go. The range of possibilities is astounding. Still, there are some rather important issues we should think about. What happens when robots become too intelligent? And what about employment? These are issues we should discuss. For now, though, Cyber One is simply great. It's a wonderful piece of technology that begs questions about future directions. What then do you suppose? Are you excited, a bit afraid? Tell me in the comments, please. I'm really interested in your opinions on all this. And hey, while you're down below, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech stuff. Together, we have much more to investigate.